Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday, March the 4th, day 24, and I have just got to the top of Snowbird Mountain. And I hope y'all are ready for this view because it is amazing. Ain't that something? I punch in here. This is absolutely unbelievable up here this morning. Oh yeah, and there's the trail heading down. All right guys, can you just not get enough of that? Look at that, that is nuts crazy I say anyways all right so we are on our way to I cannot remember the name of the shelter now <laughs> uh, but it is just past Max Patch and uh, judging from the weather today it looks like we may get a great view from Max Patch, so that is gonna be awesome. But, I think it's uh, 17 miles total, and I uh, actually just made really good time. I was pretty good, pretty proud of myself. I made it up uh, from Standing Bear to the uh, Aviation Tower back there in an hour and 56 minutes. Now I know there are you out there that are saying, oh, I did that climbing an hour and a half I'm sure you did but uh for me that was a pretty good time I was pretty happy that's about 4.7 miles all uphill so uh I was rolling pretty good anyhow I'm going way downhill now so I kind of need to look where I'm stepping but when I get a killer view or have something stupid to say I will turn the camera back on Hope you guys are having a great morning and I will talk to you again soon. I am about one, a little over one mile from Max Patch. So that is awesome. Today has been just kind of a, I don't know, I'm not gonna call it boring. It was a lot of work, a lot of ups and downs and stuff, but not very, uh, photogenic as far as stuff to show you guys basically just been walking in the woods um, but I think we are going to have a view up here on Max Patch it's kind of overcast but the clouds are really high so I think we're going to have a killer view pretty sure anyway <clears throat> um, guys one thing I did want to touch on uh I keep my phone turned on while I'm hiking. I don't put it in airplane mode, so I get all these notifications. And uh, I've had a bunch of people uh, leave comments on YouTube asking, you know, where's the next video? Where's the next video? Um, since Gatlinburg, th today is the first day I've had any real cell reception. Uh, two bars. And to put videos up with two bars, it's, it takes a long time, burns a lot of battery. So generally, I don't upload until I have either three bars of service out on the trail or until I get to a town with Wi-Fi. 
and uh man it's just been a long stretch you know uh, it's uh been a long stretch of uh not being able to upload i uploaded what i could in gatlinburg and uh but then that's been what four days ago so you guys don't worry um if you're interested if i'm still moving or not just check out twitter or instagram i can i can get a picture up on instagram a whole lot easier than i can i uh, get a video up on youtube so uh check those two places and uh you'll be able to see that i'm still moving and that i'm still putting up a picture here and there i don't i don't put up a lot of pictures on instagram um night train does a much better job with his instagram than i do but i try to get up a few just uh proof of life you know <laughs> so uh anyways you guys don't worry i'll let you know if, if something were to happen and i were to get off trail i promise you i will let you know as soon as possible so uh, there's that all right well i gotta go over this one last big old hill so i can get that in there y'all see that big old hill up there i gotta climb that i gotta climb that hill and then i'm gonna go down to the parking lot of uh, max patch and then climb up on top of it and we'll see what kind of view we got. So uh, I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, <clears throat> just about to the summit, but I wanted to show you what the trail looks like coming up here. Cause I know some of you are interested in stuff like that. That's kind of where I came from. Um, man, I, I don't know what mountain that is, but that's the general direction we came from, I think. Not really sure. Um, way over yonder. But if that ain't the right direction, it was at least that far away where we came from today. We're about uh, 13 and a half miles into, into today. And I'll show you guys what the climb up the Max Patch looks, looks like. That's the trail. And if you look right up there, See that little post? That's a white blaze. And the max patch is right there. So it's got a little snow on it. Okay guys, this is the view for max patch today. Absolutely amazing. Let me punch in. Almost, almost too good to be true, isn't it? All right. It is chilly up here today, though. God, look at that. Forever. And Lassiter and Prince are over here. Night Train and Caruso decided they were cold and decided to go on down to the shelter. I want to spend just a little more time up here I mean man look how far you can see down there is that not just absolutely amazing I'm not sure what that way is but there's something going on down there some sort of little town 
And these people up here have these beautiful huskies, which I'm not gonna go invade their privacy with my camera, but I would like to. <laughs> Cause I would like to show you those dogs, they are gorgeous. All right, well, I'm gonna sit up here for a little bit longer and just soak this in because we earned it. We earned it through all those days in the Smokies and now we get this and it is the best. Let me try the wide angle, see if y'all what that looks like. You can really see the curvature of Max Patch up here with that on. This is your wide angle 360. All right. Well, I hope the wind noise isn't too bad. I'm using the microphone for the, I think the first time since I've been on trail. I gotta do better about that, right? All right. Well, I'm gonna sit up here and drink some more Kool-Aid and enjoy this view. And then I will get back to you when we get down to the shelter. All right, guys. It's the end of day 24. And just showing you guys the duplex here. It's all set up. We are at Roaring Fork Shelter. We are 18 miles from Hot Springs. And we may try to make it in tomorrow. We may just stop three miles short at that last shelter and then Nero in the following day, not sure. But I had a couple questions about uh, how to um, use the clothespin to keep the condensation down in your tent. So I thought I would show you. This is how that works, or at least this is how I perceive that to work and it seems to be working. But you buckle the tent here, okay? Then you roll the tent, this door, if you'll notice, this one's attached, that one's obviously not. Rolled it up, just take a clothespin, hold it back. So you still have rain protection, but you also have a nice big wide open space to help the airflow. And uh, so far, after, since I've been using this method, no joke, no condensation at all. I mean, like, the tent is dry on the inside. So that is, like, a revelation to me. It, is, it has changed my entire outlook on this tent. I mean, I liked the tent before just because of what it is and what it weighs, and it's just cool as all get out. But, um... Yeah, now, now that it stays dry for me too, yeah, it's the best tent in the world. So, anyways, I'll use this side to get in and out of and uh, keep that side just the way it was. There's the guys, everybody hanging out in the shelter. Everybody else is shelter sleeping tonight. I'm the only guy who pitched a tent, but I really want to sleep tonight because sleep has been hard to come by the last few evenings and I just need a quiet place to get some nap time anyway that's gonna just about do it for this evening hope you guys are all doing well and um, I'll talk to you in the morning